we're yet on another roof leak call within our travels so we're working it in quickly and it is all too often roof nail placement nail placement nail placement nail placement i see this way too often this would be a very short video going around to see what's going on with the leak here it's kind of hard to find these but when you see a roof like this there's no obvious damage and you have little driplets coming in and the roof has got a little bit of age on it's typically what you're going to look for in this case so again nail placement nail placement nail placement unfortunately new roof installs whether you're a DIYer or you had a contractor do it with a crew that maybe doesn't pay attention to their nail placement, it doesn't leak right away and it looks good and then over time it develops. So let's get into this very short, quick, impromptu video for you guys. Simple possible remedy to stop the leak, not a repair, stop the leak. So let's see what we can learn here. If you could give it a thumbs up as always. I appreciate you watching. That would mean a lot to me. Inside the house, there is a leak in a bedroom over here and inside the front room right in this general area. Just got up here a few minutes ago, looking around. It's kind of hard to find these, so I grabbed some chalk just to mark so I know where to get to. So I got one right here we're gonna look at, right over there. I also noticed, again, I don't know the age of this, but I see somebody had caulked the keyways. Typically, this has been an ongoing thing. Somebody had been out here and caulked this. Siding in a can, as BDR says, or roofing in a can, or roofing in a tube. Uh, things you're gonna look for is nail placement. Nail placement, nail placement, nail placement, and a buckle with a hump causing lateral water movement. In between keyways where two shingles come together, like this, here's a shingle, here's a shingle, they come together as a keyway, uh, different things it's called. If you have a nail in that zone, over time it'll rust out. Let's look at this one, last one I found. This is in the general area, so you're gonna look over an exterior window or from inside the house, find the window, note it. Same here on this uh, plane here. So you got two planes, wherever the X comes together, we're gonna focus on this section. Keyway coming together, you peel this up. This one is a little bit further away. If you can see it there, there you go, get the shadow off of it. There is a nail, it is a little rusty. It is in the path of the dirty water trail. So you can see the debris coming in. And we're gonna look at this real quick because I get people talking to me. I almost get out of my finger. Might need just a little pluck of the flat bar here to get this out. I wanna show you some things. We're gonna look at some stuff. Over the years, I mean, you got a penetration through the shingle and you've got a clear hole there. Over time, the water runoff from above coming down will trickle in around this. Let's talk about nails real quick. If you look at this, this is evenly rusted. The tip, the center of the shaft, the top head. Over time, the galvanization rubs off, rubs off, wears off, and uh, will start rusting. I have seen nails rust just on the tips. Typically, that is because of excess moisture in your attic getting on the tip of the nail, rusting it out. In a case like this, you have moisture coming through. It is rusting the entire nail out. Over time, it will waller out, get loose, and again, causing the hole. That is a issue I see all too often. Again, if it's a leak that develops many years later, that's typically what you're looking for. What I'm gonna do is just put a little sealer in around under this and down here, squish this down to seal it. There's a small little tear that started there. I'll seal that too. You don't wanna just go around caulking stuff because it can look like an eyesore, but some ways to find this, gently put chalk in my pocket here so I don't lose it. Um, if you can pull on the shingles, if they're loose, you can just look and investigate, but if they're in and stuck without tearing the strip loose, I've showed this before in other videos, but it's a good little tip. You can pull, and if the shingle rises there, even though they're bonded, you don't need to break the seal to check this. Most of the time, there's no nail in that zone. At least if the installer did a good job, it should not be nailed there. That doesn't say that's not the case because there could have been a nail there, broke through the mat, which in that case, it'll lift. But it's a good way to just run through quickly. So you can either grab it with your fingers and pick up on it, or sometimes you can take a flat bar if it's stuck and just gently wedge it in and lift and just note if it's rising or not. And if it's pinned down an area, typically there's a nail holding it down. The whole point of the seal strip is to stick down where the nails are so it's fastened so nothing blows in the wind. Let's run over this one over here real quick. Here's the other room. Uh, put a small spot of chalk, I thought, or maybe I just set this twig up here. Oh, maybe right here. Yes, right here. So there's another one. It's smack dab in the keyway. It's loose. Again, you shouldn't be able to pull them out with your hand, your bare hand. Again, it's confluent, it's rusty, just like the other one. Solid, through and through, pretty even. A known area for moisture to get to it. Now you have a penetration, a hole. This is in the vicinity of the leak. I'll drive that down and I'll seal this, put a little shim under there. But uh, say the leak is inside the house here. It may not have to be directly above that. It could be over here a little bit and running in and following a mortar, uh, not a mortar joint, a mud joint over to it before it actually comes down to a low area causing the damage inside. There's a few little tips for you. Let me get in the shade here. So if you can, if it's cool, 
being careful so you don't fall through your attic. Go into your attic if you have access close to, if there's room to work. Typically, you'll see above the damaged spot in your ceiling some wet insulation. Look directly above. It's either running down from something and dropping down, or it's just following a nail tip right in. Most of the time, it's a rusty nail like this. It's going to follow that nail and just drip off. In that case, you can poke up with it, go up on your roof, locate it easy that way. This is a kind of just like a move around and look and search and guess. So where are we at here? Five minutes. All right, appreciate you guys. I need to wrap up. So again, not a complete full repair. It's not a new roof. We're doing what we can. So caulk it, seal it, put a piece of aluminum flashing under it. Better yet, make sure it's done right the first time and watch the nail placement. It is huge. I see this all the time. Every day about I see a leak caused by a similar issue where the nail placement is not right. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next video.